VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. And welcome to another VidIQ training session. My name is Liron Segev. I am the Director of Customer Success here at VidIQ. Thanks to all the people hanging out in the chat before we go live. Always amazing to see that you guys are coming in from around the world, seeing the kind of channels that you guys do. And um, all here for one purpose, to rock your YouTube channel, which is what this training is all about. This is live. So I will tell you that I will push the wrong button, probably. I will pronounce your name incorrectly, definitely, as I have been doing it up to, <laughs> up to now. Um, to prove to you this is live, um, I pronounced Lila earlier, which is actually Leela. See, so that was happening in the chat. So yes, we're here for you and we're here live because we want to be able to help you. We've got a whole bunch of amazing mods who are monitoring those chats. So if you've got a question, start with the hashtag question, space, and then put your question in there. So they'll be able to answer you and then kind of take you to wherever you need to go to. This is pretty cool. Um, we've got a bunch of questions already coming in. App Monkey says, when is the vidIQ app coming out? It's a very, very good question. And I, can, um, I can't give you the exact date, but watch this space. Um, yeah, I almost wanna, okay, anyway, watch this space. So guys, girls, today, everybody that's in the chat, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through absolutely everything you need. And there's so many people who are new here and we welcome you, thank you for being here. As I said, if you don't have vidIQ at the moment, perfectly fine, let's hang out here. Let me show you all the things that you need to know. Hit the link in the description, download it, use it for 30 days, apply everything that I have told you and you'll see what this will do to your channel. So just let's hang out, let's ask those questions and let me show you what you need to do. There is no shortcuts. This is very much about one, two, three, four. There's a methodology and everything that you need to do. And those that have been here before, I didn't ask you that earlier, but those that have been here before, you're gonna have to put up with some of my repetitive jokes. I apologize. Um, maybe next time we'll, we'll buy another 10,000 jokes for kids or something and then I'll splice these up. But be ready for chocolate cake and because chocolate cake is where it all starts. And speaking of starting, um, okay, Daredevil wants a shout out. There we go, you got a shout out, Daredevil. Now, I am switching off the chat so I can actually focus on actually helping you, which is why you guys are here. So I'm gonna fire this up and get ourselves ready to get this ball rolling. And guess what? Um, okay, hold on, let's make sure everything is cool. We're all fine. Um, it, there was some serious internet outages today. We know that Facebook was down and still down. We know that Instagram is down. Let's just hope this doesn't translate across to YouTube like Cloudflare had a couple of issues a couple of days ago. Okay, with that in mind, let's get cracking. And I'm gonna tell you that YouTube, okay, let's focus. YouTube, guys, is about three Ds, okay? Three Ds. The first D is about, oh, excuse me, is about being discovered. You need to get your content discovered. You can make the most amazing thumbnail and you can have the most amazing video, but if you don't know how to tell YouTube, hey YouTube, come and find me, that's pointless. The first thing we have to focus on is being discovered. That's the first D. The second D that we need to focus on is being able to deliver. In other words, somebody's watching your video, are you delivering what you promised? Are you delivering value to them? If you are delivering value, it unlocks the last D, which is distribution. People love your videos, so they share it. But guess who else shares your video? YouTube does, because it got all the right signals. People arrived at your video, they watched, they loved it, they watched for a long time, they distribute that video, YouTube says, great, I'm gonna find new audiences for you, and that is how you grow your channel. So, simple enough, right? <laughs> well, today, I'm gonna to take you through the exact step that you need, the first D, the second D, and the last D, and let's get ourselves kicking. And we're always gonna kick off in the kitchen, because the kitchen, we always use this example, because chocolate cake is universal. Let's be honest here, everybody around the world knows what chocolate cake is, doesn't matter what your country is, your religion, you know that chocolate cake is amazing. So, if I said to you right now, okay, stop what you're doing, this is a hypothetical, right? Don't stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing, go to the kitchen, grab random ingredients from your cupboard, mix them all up into a bowl, stick it in the oven, and you're gonna get chocolate cake. 
is that really going to work? You're going to kind of randomly mix stuff and hope the chocolate cake happens? Well, it's the same. That's, that's, that's obviously not going to work because it's the same as taking up your camera, picking it up, shooting, you know, filming, 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 vlogging, 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 screen recording, getting home, doing your edits, uploading, and hopefully people are going to watch. It's the same thing. Why They're both random. There isn't a purpose. There isn't a methodology. You're not following a recipe. If I said to you, hey, buy these ingredients, go to the shops, buy these, mix it in this quantity, put it in the oven for, in this, for this long, what are the odds of cake coming out? Pretty good. Same thing with YouTube. I'm going to tell you how to make chocolate cake of your video so people love it and they watch it. And I'm going to push this button now. And this you should be able to see is the search engine. So it all begins here, right here at good old YouTube search. And the first thing we're going to put in is we're going to put in a chocolate cake. That is my big, this is the keyword. This is the video I'm about to make. I'm going to make a chocolate cake video. So the first thing I do before I pick up my camera, please, if you're going to make one mindset change today, is don't pick up the camera before you do this research. This is so critical. At the end of the day, YouTube is what? A search engine. And again, I'm going to repeat this. YouTube is a search engine. YouTube is going to, wants to marry somebody typing in chocolate cake. That's a keyword. Marrying it up to chocolate cake videos. The more that you can match up a question with your video, a search term with your video, the more you can match it up, the better it's going to be, the better your videos will do. Let me show you what I mean. So I just did a search for chocolate cake, right? Before I do anything, I'm going to go to the right hand side and you see at the top here, it says something called search volume. The search volume is green. Perfect. What does that mean? It means that lots of people are searching for chocolate cake. Great. In other words, if you were doing a video and nobody did a search for that term, what's the point of spending nine hours editing and creating a video that nobody is searching for? So you've got to start with your search. And the search volume is beautiful. It's nice and green. Lots of people want chocolate cake. But before you rush out and make a video, you've also got to look at the competition score which is down here. The competition score basically says, look, it's also in the red. What does that mean? Lots of people searching, but lots of competition, lots of people delivering information about the search term. So do you just give up? Definitely not. Here is what I want you to do. What did, what did I say YouTube is? A search engine. So what are you gonna do in a search engine is we're gonna use YouTube's own autocomplete to help us create a title. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down to the top here. See what's it up? up. I'm going to go down to the top. I'm going to right up to the top. I'm going to go to the search bar. And instead of just chase, praise, typing chocolate cake, I'm going to press space A, B, C, D, E, F. What am I doing? I am looking for the autocomplete. What is the autocomplete? It's essentially YouTube says, look, so many people have searched for chocolate cake from scratch that the next person that wants to do a search for chocolate cake from scratch, as they type the word F, I'm going to help them out. Chocolate cake from scratch, there it is. How does this help us as content creators? Well, YouTube has just told us what people are searching for. Lots of people are searching for chocolate cake from scratch. Enough people are searching for chocolate cake from scratch. Doesn't that make a beautiful title? Doesn't this help us create a, a content that we know people are searching for? So do the alphabet walkthrough. I like to put in, you know, in, out, all of those kind of words as well. Chocolate cake in a mug, microwave. If I had a cooking channel and I was going to make something about chocolate cake, I will do chocolate cake in a mug, in a microwave in five minutes or less, right? Do you see how I'm using those keywords that YouTube itself has told me are awesome because in lots of people are searching for it, enough people are searching for it, I am going to use those keywords to match what? To match the search engine's request with my video. 
But also, remember, YouTube is that search engine. What do we do in a search engine? We ask questions. What kind of questions? Well, let's ask it. How? How chocolate cake is made? Why chocolate cake cracks? Now, oh, okay, I love this topic. Why chocolate cake cracks? Imagine you had a YouTube channel and you were making all foods. Wouldn't this be an amazing title? Why chocolate cake, um, cake cracks and how to fix it? You know you're going to get views because so many people are searching for that. So what? Where? Where's my chocolate cake? Right? Uh, and remember, this works for basically any search terms. So if I'm going to do Windows 10 because I've got a technology channel, I'm going to go A, B, C. See, see, I'm using the alphabet walkthrough. This is giving me all the title. But if I go to the beginning, how Windows 10 to install? How Windows 10 work? Right. Where? Where Windows 10 update files are stored? There is a perfect question somebody has asked. Not one person, many people have asked. I make a video about when, um, where Windows 10, Windows 10 update files are stored and how to delete them. I'm going to get some views, right? Because I'm matching up my video with search. Um, a lot of people doing gaming stuff. So let's just do, I don't know, for, uh, Fortnite videos. You try to rank yourself on Fortnite, you're going to have a problem. But if you do Fortnite A, B, C, game with the cakes and birthdays, right? D, Fortnite dance, Grace what? E, F, G, H, I, right? Oh, there you go. Fortnite H, I think there was. Fortnite highlights. Funniest Fortnite highlights uh, that you need to see. Already you're tapping those keywords. You know people are searching. Bang, you're going to get that traffic. Does this make sense? Let me know in those com in that chat box. Give it some thumbs up because I can pretty much see emojis because it's just sort of such a weird angle. Let me know if this makes sense. This is critical. YouTube is made or broken based on marrying your, your video with what people are searching for. If you can marry the two, you are going to kill it. It's going to be amazing. But use this trick. Look at your search volume. Look at that vidIQ search volume. Look at that competition and start doing this research. I need You need to get this absolutely spot on because that is how you succeed on YouTube. Does this make sense? Somebody let me know down in those chats and I want them to see that it is and a couple of thumbs up. Again, remember there's a bit of a delay, which is perfect because I get to get a sip of water. Uh, right, let's do this. Um, Okay, cool. That makes sense. Okay, Bobcat says that makes sense. Perfect. Um, right, big eye opener. Okay, Genocide Eclipse says big eye opener. Oh, sorry. K KNG Spring says big eye opener. Michael G. Right, perfect. Good. So people are on board. Please make sure you do this. Seriously, this will change your YouTube just by itself. Right, let's carry on. So let's do more research. Remember, we haven't picked up the camera. So far, we spent maybe four or five minutes of our lives before, but, but just doing this research. Let's go into this video. Oh, okay, let me show you this new feature. Wow, this is going, this is going to be, this is amazing. Watch this feature. Okay, so let's go into this channel. This channel has got 15 million subscribers. Okay, pretty good by everybody's account. We can all agree to that. Let's go down. I want to show you this video. So let's go find a specific video that I was looking for at earlier because I want to show you this very cool new tool. Is this even in here still? Have they taken it down? Oh, there we go. Right, how to make... Okay, let's click on this video and let's see if it gets there. Pause, make sure that's fine. Let's pause this video. Okay, check this out, people. This video has got 194,000 views. Okay, so maybe if you've got a small channel, 194,000 is a lot. I know on my small channel, 194,000 is amazing. So um, this is fine. Let's not look at the total views. I want you to show you this. This is a new tool that was recently launched. It's the compare view tool. This is brilliant. When you start using this, ah, things start to change. This is what happens. Look at this. And we are comparing the blue, which is this video, this particular one, how to make cookies and cream funnel cake sandwiches, right? We're comparing this view to the channel average, which is this channel's average, which is the pink. So how did this do? Well, on day one, day two, day three, and day seven, we can see that usually this channel gets 160,000 views kind of by day seven on a video. On average, this video got 180,000. So it's a little bit above 
what this channel is normally what this channel normally expects so if i had a cooking channel and i would be thinking hmm do i want to tackle this topic because this video did okay i mean it's got 194,000 views but do i want to tackle this topic it's not like it didn't pop watch this let's go back to their videos okay and where was let's go find another video dun, 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 dun. where's another video so all i'm going to do is i'm going to start looking down into these into these videos and i want to look for the outliers i want to look for the ones that actually popped um they've had a really cool one which really showed this illustrative example uh i think it's this eight yeah there we go eight refreshing recipes so let's pause that video and immediately let's pause it let's pause it okay cool so immediately look at the same graph so it's this video compared to this channel's average look at this on day seven this channel gets 160,000 views now this video got 278,000 views look how much this is above the channel's average what does that mean for me if i was making if i had a cookie channel i would be thinking hmm do i want to do a chocolate cake or this funnel cake or should i be doing eight refreshing popsicle recipes to cool you down all summer they've hit all the great keywords you can see that down here look at the video tags we expose all that for you look at these amazing tags if you want those tags click on the little copy little paper clip thing click on it it copies them to, to your clipboard you simply paste them in your video and take out the stuff that's not relevant for this for you obviously but you don't want to copy them you want to make this about your own this just gives you clues as to what videos really kind of hit it out park for this channel this channel's got 15 million subscribers you're not trying to fight them you're trying to see if the audience really loves this content well maybe if you make similar content your audience might also love it as much as this audience does look how powerful this thing is right it is amazing let's go back oh, okay let me show you another thing since we are this video is currently getting 15.6 uh, in fact you know what i lie we're gonna go back to the beginning and i'm going to show you because i really want you to understand how this works so let's look at um uh, let's take this video for example uh, let's see if youtube is behaving youtube please behave for us today thank you we would appreciate it right let's pause this video okay so i want to make a point here a lot of people look at this and they say wow a video with 16 million views it must be amazing i am also going to make the same video and then when you do and your video dies you wonder oh youtube algorithm ah the algorithm is bad hold on let me tell you why it's not that a video with 16 million views doesn't tell you one thing it doesn't tell you the time that it took to get those views in other words think about this way back when when the iphone one came out or the samsung one came out i don't know something that happened um, you know 10 years ago well those videos must have gotten a lot of views for its time right maybe millions of views on the iphone one or the iphone four maybe the iphone four and millions of views but is it still relevant today that is always the big question is it still relevant right now if i make a video about the iphone 4 now well it's gonna die because people are not searching for that but what's important for us is not total views it's something else it's called views per hour make sure you can see that views per hour what does that mean vph it means how many people in this particular case 635 people on average viewed this video in the last hour what does that tell you it tells you it's still relevant right now it's still relevant as we speak so many people are watching this video so many people are watching it right now in other words it's still relevant and then check this out at the top you got something called historical press on that look at that graph Whew. all the way up what does that mean it's look it's getting more and more attention more and more traffic which means these are great signs that you could be making a video about this topic today and get those views but if that graph was on its way down what's the point people stopped caring about this topic if it's getting no views per hour or one or two views per hour what's the point see how powerful the tool is because it exposes all this it also tells you look they used one reddit kind of ish and they got 15,000 facebook likes or maybe they use that as a strategy what is their channel as a whole 
um, list channels, optimize, checklist, did they use the right thing? And there we go. All those video tags are exposed for you. So you can start using them on your own channels. Guys, does this make sense? Views, total views, please don't just watch a video and think it's got millions of views, it must be relevant. Or 100,000 views, it must be relevant. Always, always look at the views per hour. Does this make sense right now? Is this video rocking right now? That's what it's all about. Because if it's not, don't waste your time. Okay, so uh, hopefully that that makes sense. Um, I can't really see the chat, but I can see a lot of chatter going on. Hopefully you guys are still with me and it's all cool. Um, yeah, all right, everything looks okay in that little chat. So now that that is rocking and rolling, and now we know what's the story with this video, we know what we want to do. Everybody should be familiar with this. Okay, not Rob, because we're all familiar with Rob. We know Rob is king. Hey, Rob. We all know Rob is king, but this, what I want to show you is the upload screen. Now that you've done your research, you've got your title, you know you've got your content, you know what you're going to do. How to make chocolate cake in a microwave in five minutes or less. Boom. That's your title. Make sure when you come in here, YouTube's number one thing that YouTube looks at seems to be the title. So make sure that is so spot on. Remember, it's all about the viewer. So don't try keyword stuff this in here. Don't write it for the machine. Don't write it for YouTube algorithm. How to make chocolate cake, comma, in a microwave, comma, in a fridge, comma, for mom, comma, for dad. Uh, uh, nobody reads, you're just going to die miserably. You've got to make sure that you make content that is, re uh, the title, sorry, that is human readable. Attract the human. Don't worry about the algorithm. It knows what your, what your video is about because we're going to tell it. So how to make custom thumbnails is the keyword for here. In the description, the first line, how to make custom thumbnails is right here as well. And look how much is written here. So Rob is taking this time and is telling YouTube, hey YouTube, this is what this video is about. This is what you need to know about this video. Feed the beast. And when, when we go down here to the tags, tags are not important and all that nonsense. Yes, tags are not as important as they used to be. But my take on this is that any opportunity, you get an opportunity to tell YouTube information about your video why wouldn't you tell youtube about your video tell youtube so how to make custom thumbnails everything is around custom thumbnails in fact let me show you this uh, let me bring this up a little bit so you can see it um okay let's talk about father's day i want to mix up the top the, the topics there's father's day you can see as i'm starting to type it's already giving me some suggestions what am i looking for and some score some weighted score What's going on with that? Click on that Father's Day, and I want to have a look here and say, okay, Father's Day, here are all the keywords I would use for Father's Day. But look at this, before I do anything, over the last 30 days, there was a great interest for Father's Day. It was on June 16th in the US. And guess what? Wow, 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 wow. Okay, it's now dead. Nobody is searching for Father's Day at, what, 3rd of July. Or July 3rd, whichever country you're from. Nobody's searching for this at the moment. Why would you go and spend time and money and effort making a video about Father's Day? You miss it. Does that mean that you now abandon the topic altogether? Not so much. Because what people don't do is they click on all times. All times, it's telling me this term, look at this. Every single year, this term pops. And this year, it seemed to have popped higher than usual. What does that mean? This, called, this is called a tent pole event, which means every year this is going to pop. So if you missed your opportunity to create Father's Day video 2019, make sure that you're going to create Father's Day video 2020. For those gaming people, you can maybe make a video, five um, Roblox tips for um, any father, uh, give your fathers the five Roblox tips for Father's Day. I don't know, I'm clapping at straws here. Um, you know, if you're in the music industry, maybe you can make a compilation. Father's Day compilation, your dad will love. Okay, can you see how use 2019, 2020? Because the cool thing is, we're pretty sure that in 2020 it's going to pop. We're pretty sure 2021 it's going to pop again. So you've got something that's evergreen. You've got something, how to make chocolate cake for father on Father's Day, 2020. 2021, change the title to 2021. Okay, does this make sense? 
you always, always look at the last 30 days because if nobody cares, it could be an amazing topic, but if nobody is searching, why are you spending time making videos nobody cares about? So let me show you different examples. Um, what's coming up? Oh, okay, hello. In the state, it is the 4th of July. Let's do a search for that quickly and see what's going on there. 4th of July. <laughs> okay, ta-da! So there we go, just proving it. it's been pretty much flat, 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 but look at that interest. If you have made a 4th of July video by now, you're losing out on all this. Maybe it's even a little bit late, okay? Make sure that 4th of July is on your radar because it's a big holiday. Let's look at all times. Do we care if we missed it this year? Should we make one next year? Absolutely. Look, every year it popped. It seems to be popping less and less, so I would take that into account. But still, it's almost like guaranteed, almost, that in next year it's going to do well. In which case, why not work on something if you miss this year? Put it on your calendar. The next year, at the beginning of June, you'll work on the 4th of July video. Father's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas, Easter. And don't forget your local country as well. In the UK, if you celebrate something cool. South Africa, we had something called National Bride Day, which is like National Barbecue Day. Put that in here. Does this pop every year? You know, remember your country, your rules, <laughs> your events. Make sure you don't only think of international events like New Year's Eve as an example. Make sure you take your local country into account so that you can capitalize on that as well. This is so powerful. It just prevents you from wasting a lot of time about something that nobody cares about. And it shows you what people do care about. Voila. Look at that. That is cool, right? And by the way, we feed you, so to speak, um, I just saw party food. We feed you all this information about all the related keywords. And all you're going to do is click plus, 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 plus. Add them to your keywords. Uh, add them to your tags. And then use those in your title. Use those in your description. And now you've just told YouTube what your video is about. That is amazing okay let me get rid of father's day because i don't want to confuse the algorithm i don't want to confuse youtube by telling it hey this is custom thumbnails for father's day we definitely don't want that so as we're talking about kind of these tags scroll further down you've got something called videos to gain views from this is very powerful because we all know there isn't a single person in this chat i want to make sure there isn't a single person in this chat that watches one video about one topic you're going to watch multiple videos about the same topic if you're looking to say hey do i want to buy this new phone what are you going to do you're going to watch lots and lots of videos about the same phone lots of reviews lots of unboxing so you can make a decision you don't watch one you watch lots youtube knows that so we have something called videos to gain views from so hey we're speaking about custom thumbnails but so are these other people look at these amazing people cool we're not taking views from them. We're saying, hey, YouTube, when people finish watching these videos, we're using the same tags. You can see it's already pre ticked We're using the same tags. Don't you want to send you and viewers our way? We're trying to help YouTube force a relationship between our videos and other content creators' videos. Again, very, very powerful thing to do. Okay. So let's go see um, a little bit more stuff. Here, by the way, we've got a very quick checklist to say, hey, have you, added to, have you added at least one card? It does, is this, do you have an end screen? Did you do closed caption? Blah, blah, blah. And it will just keep you on check because when you do all of these things, it just all helps your video. Now, for example, on our channel, we don't monetize our channel, so we just don't have that, that little tick. It's always crossed. That's perfect. We know why. So just keep an eye on that. Now, remember speaking about views per hour earlier, the VPH. The way YouTube measures, well, sorry, one of the way that the YouTube systems, because it's not one algorithm, it's actually multiple, it's the systems, and the way that they measure how good or bad a new video is, is by looking at signals. One of those signals is when you launch your videos, it sends out the notification, do people watch? Are they clicking on your videos? How many people are clicking? How long are they click are they watching for? Do they watch for a second and leave or do they watch for a long period of time? Those are all signals. I'm sure you can agree. If you went to a video that was absolutely mm -hmm, um, wasn't what you thought, you would watch for a couple of seconds and leave. So you know it's a not such a great video. And by leaving, you're telling YouTube, hey YouTube, 
I don't think this is a great video. Maybe it's clickbait. Maybe the title was wrong and delivered something else. If you do PewDiePie versus T series and then you start talking about chocolate cake, people are going to leave because they know it's the wrong thing. So what's the cool thing to do is to publish your video when your people are online. So we have something called the best time to publish on your channel. And you can see it's broken up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, okay, Saturday, Sunday, and there's an overall. So you can say, okay, Mondays, well, let's do today's. Today's Wednesday. If I was going to launch a new video on the vidIQ channel today, it tells me the best time is between 12 and 2. And I can see there's a little bit of a, um, a little bit of run up before, maybe even before that. So maybe I'm going to launch it just so that eventually, so as I launch the video, people are going to start clicking. And there's more people that click. The longer they watch, the more signals I'm sending to YouTube. Hey, this is a good video. YouTube is going to start picking that video up and thinking, okay, I see what you're doing here. People are clicking. People are watching. Let me test this video with a similar audience. Somebody else who also watches how-to videos and how to do YouTube better. Let me show them this video because I'm not subscribed to your channel. If those people also click and those people also start to watch, then YouTube gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And trust me, I had it from personal experience, it can go really big. So make sure you publish at the time that your audience is there, waiting for those videos, and then you're gonna do far, far better. Okay, more caffeine time. I, I need to know if this makes sense, guys. Um, I need a whole bunch of thumbs up in that chat um, just to let me know that this video does make sense and you are understanding when to post. My VPH is important. You got the whole thing about the title, your descriptions, your tags, feed information, and always look at that interest. Do people still care right now? Those are just revolutionary stuff that we can expose for you so that you know that you're making content that people actually want. And you marry your video with a search. So I'm going to have a sip of this. I'm going to awkwardly look at you whilst you're giving me some thumbs up in the chat. It's going to be even more awkward if nobody does because that means I've lost a lot of you, which is <clears throat> not so good. Um, okay, thank you. Super, use, um, super user tech mod. First with those thumbs up that I can see. Um, I hope that was for me and not somebody else's comment, but okay, fine. Um, I can see a couple of new people are joining. I'm having a, cup of, a sip of coffee. Mm. Read C with a thumbs up there. Okay, um, right, a couple of people have just joined, welcome. So um, hang on with us as we go through this. By the way, this will be available on the replay as well. So if you miss the beginning part of it, don't worry. Same link will apply, you simply just rewind it. Um, as soon as this is done, it starts to process, then you'll be available on our channel. You guys can check it out. Okay, so as we are gonna carry on, let's move on to the next thing. So somebody asked in the chat earlier how to go viral, how to get your videos ranked. Let me show you a whole bunch of this. Um, okay, so competitors. So you see this tag on the right hand side? Click on competitors. And what competitors are, are essentially other people making similar content to the kind of content that you are making. Oh, hold on, I need to refresh the screen, I think, because I've been on for too so long. Let's go back and let's go competitors. That should work. Come on, YouTube, don't break on us today. Here we go. Okay. So essentially what competitors are, are people who are making similar content to the kind of content that you're making. Why do we want to keep an eye on them? Well, we want to know what they're up to. But look at this. It's sorted by views per hour, VPH. So I have a look at other people making similar content to the VidIQ channel. And we love these people. We work with a lot of these people. And we want to see, okay, great. What are their thumbnails like? Are they still using faces? There's Roberto Black, there's Nick Neman, there's Jevon is here. There is Tom from Creators Inside. We had him on our channel. We did a live stream with him. It was awesome. You can definitely go check that out because you're subscribed to our channel. You obviously would know that. And you check all this out and we now we're looking for information. Look at these thumbnails. Amazing. Look at that. Brilliant. Okay. Are we still on track? Are people still doing the same stuff? What's that title like? Are they long? Are they short? He uses emojis. This one is a very long title. I'm trying to get an understanding of what's going on. And I'm also trying to find some trends. In other words, if everybody starts talking about a specific topic, like new studio beta features, as an example, if everybody starts to talk about that, I know I need to start talking about that as well on the vidIQ channel because, it's, you know, what I said earlier, people watch one video about one topic and they watch multiple videos about the same topic. 
So somebody's going to watch one of the next video, how to, um, how to make a YouTuber banner fast. And we might have perhaps a how to make a, a YouTube banner and they might watch his video and then the next video will be recommended will be maybe one of us. But we're trying to understand what people are talking about. We need to get onto those trends. On your channel, if you're watching and you're seeing that everybody's starting to make, hey, 4th of July videos, if you had this tool and you see that everybody's making 4th of July videos and you weren't planning on it, maybe you should. See how it sparks kind of that flow of what's trending on YouTube. So again, it's um, sorted by VPH, so views per hour. In other words, what is relevant right now? I don't care what the total number of views on a video is. It could be six months old and nobody cares. The rules of YouTube has changed. I want to know what views per hour right now, which is why this is pretty rare. Okay, you simply load people onto your channel. You can load as many as you need to, um, depending on the package that you have. And you simply put in the channel ID, click on add and wow, it's in here. Okay, let's get out of the screen. Then next thing I want to show you is something called trend alerts. Okay, now what trend alerts are, remember on YouTube, it's all about trends. What's fashionable today? Like what's happening right now? Challenges, things of that nature. The problem is that a lot of us only get onto those trends when they're on the way down. I mean, they've been done. You do a search, there's lots of videos. Ah, you know, you're really going to compete in that market. But if you had a trend alert, you could say, whatever, give it a name, something that makes sense to you. And then you can say, um, let's just do recipes. Did I even spell that right? Not even close. Right, recipes. We're using big keywords. You can use big keywords like recipes, cooking, gaming, things like that. Or you can use very specific keywords as well. So like how um, making chocolate cake recipe, yeah, be very specific. And essentially what this is, it is, okay, look, anytime somebody uses the word recipe and their video is getting more than 500 views per hour or a thousand views per hour each week, Send me a report that looks like this. How cool is that? See, now you can see that, hey, look, hey, I remember this video. Last week, this video was at 100 views per hour. This weekend is at 5,000 views. Remember, it's not total, it's views per hour. Something big is happening here. I need to go and investigate. So you can create as many trend alerts as you need to, to keep an eye on your industry, on your niche. What are, uh, what's going on on YouTube in general to do with you? And as soon as you see something hit, you know you're going to get to jump on it. Uh, Samsung is launching the new phone, the Note 10. Well, all the tech people have got these alerts. Note 10. Or Samsung Note 10 or Galaxy Note 10. As soon as the first people are starting to put videos about the Note 10, we know something is coming. Go and make some videos about the Galaxy Note 10. So you can get onto those trends right early on. So again, yeah, by the way, you can set it for your channel as well. You can say, look, um, People in my industry, that only get 500 views per hour. Great. So if something's got 100 views per hour and they move to 500 views per hour, something's happening. And remember, it's always per hour. So it's not 500 views in total. It's per hour. This is amazing. Why more people don't use it? I have no idea. But when you get this into your mailbox, you know, let me investigate these. Da, 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 da. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is really popped. Let me go understand why. Get onto those trends at the beginning. And then as opposed to kind of right at the end. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to save that. And now you've got something called most viewed. And this is when I pray that YouTube algorithm does indeed filter out the naughty stuff that's not supposed to be on YouTube. Yeah, okay, that looks fine. And essentially what this is, it says, hey, what's going on on YouTube right now? And remember, you can go to the trending page and see what's going on on YouTube. Aha, but here's the difference. This is telling me, which to me this is insane, it's telling me views per hour. This is what's going on on YouTube, sorted by views per hour. This video, launched by Apple, is getting 612,000 views per hour. This kid's one, Vlad and Kita, always in the top here, 428,000 views per hour. Um, you see, it looks like, um, is this another K-pop thing? Maybe... Um, look at this, um, some gaming stuff. Oh, this is Mr. Beast. Of course, 248,000 views per hour. So this is essentially what's going on on YouTube per with views per hour. Now you might say to yourself, look, I, I cannot compete with a channel of 23 million subscribers or 8.9 million subscribers. What's the point? 
Well, good question. Thank you. The question is, so first of all, you can do searches. So you can say, okay, well, forget all this. Let me just search a specific term. But remember, this is just about understanding YouTube mentality. What's going on on YouTube right now so that you can adapt your content. So you can have a look at this. If you've got a kid's channel, you should be living on here because these are all your trending topics handed to you on a platter. But you can also do something more. You can sort by category, sort it by country. But look at this. Go to the bottom and it's called channel subs. And you can say, look, forget these 4.2 million um, channels, 52 million channels. Wow. Show me only what's going on between 10,000 and 100,000 because that's more my audience. Cool. And we will do that. We will sort it out by views per hour. Now, let's just make sure nothing's dodgy. Okay, it all looks fine. Okay, cool. So now I can see what's going on. And again, I can sort it by my category. So you see how this is how cool this is. This is about understanding what's working, what's getting views, and could you make topics similar to those so that when somebody watches one hour baby shark different, oh my hat, I, I, I'm just, I don't know why, but if someone wants to watch one hour of baby shark, you can do that. And if you've got a kid's channel, maybe you can make a 30 minute baby shark compilation. Please don't, but you might want to, okay? And because you're gonna get those views. Because people are watching this, they're gonna watch other views. Maybe you have a gaming channel and you can say, you know what, I can work Baby Shark into my title somewhere and make your uh, Call of Duty, the Baby Shark version. You're gonna get views, but make sure you deliver. If they get to that and it's Call of Duty and you're just randomly buying people up, well, that's you playing a game using Baby Shark, people will leave. So just don't clickbait. Always, always, always deliver. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you guys as well. As we're moving along. So those are essentially the first, the, the, you know, that first D. It's about being discovered. You do your research, you get discovered. You marry your video with a search query, you get discovered. Now, this is something called the channel audit. And this is where every single one of us should be living on an, I don't know, an hour by hour basis. <laughs> Essentially what this is, it's the unemotional view of that second D. Are you delivering? Are you delivering value to your audience so that they're staying around, they're watching your videos and they're subscribing? Because if you're not, doesn't matter what your content is, if people don't like it, it's not content they want to watch, there's no way YouTube is going to promote it. Well, I shouldn't say no way, but typically YouTube will not promote stuff that your own audience doesn't like. So watch this. So we can see month over month over month what's happening. We've got negative numbers. <gasps> oh my gosh, are we doing something bad? No, because we had a huge spiral, viral <laughs> spiraling video the previous month. So comparing the last 30 days, with the previous 30 days, we're on a downhole. We are on a, we're negative. That's fine. We know the reason. So we're not alarmed by this. We're just keeping our eye on it. It's because from a viral video to the next month, you're going to obviously see a huge difference. By the way, what's also cool is you can do, say, look, don't show me 30 days. Show me over 90 days. Why that's important? Because again, if you have a viral video in the previous month or something that did really, really well or really, really poorly, well, over 90 days, it kind of smoothes out the highs and the lows. It gives you a nice even kill. But why do we do use this channel audit tool? Because we want to live in a section. Can you see that content to double down on? Content to double down on, essentially, it means make more of this. Look at this. These videos are giving us views per hour. Do -do -do -do. These videos are giving us engagement. Do -do -do. These are giving us views. These are giving us subscribers. So over the last 30 days, this video has given us 259 subscribers or 37 subscribers per 1,000 views. 125 subscribers or 31 um, view, uh, subscribers per 1,000 views. So you can see, we can immediately tap into what is working on our channel. What do you guys want to see more of? Total watch time, average watch time, top retention, top playlist. You, we, this gives us all the information we need. We don't even have to think. It's right there. When you look at your channel, Let's go back to our, to our chocolate cake situation. We're trying to work out which content to make. So we make barbecue barbecue recipes. They're always at the top. Content to double down on. People love them. They subscribe. They watch more of it. When we make chocolate cake recipes, guess where they land up? Down here. In content that could use work. 
lowest watch time, lowest ratio, lowest retention, lowest views, losing subscribers. Well, guess what? Stop making those videos. Just focus on this videos. The stuff that is working. It cannot be more plain than this. Stop making the stuff that isn't working. Make the stuff that is working. And again, by the way, you always look down here and say, well, why didn't this work? Old videos, too short. Uh, maybe it didn't deliver correctly. Maybe bad timing. So instead of just, you don't just ditch anything. You learn from it so you can get better and better and better and make more content that works. This alone will change your channel because this will simply tell you what to do in simple language. At the same time, look at this. Top search terms. T-Series, PewDiePie versus T-Series. Okay, this is what people are searching for. And then how to download YouTube video. Um, in fact, if you click on view more, it will also tell you how many views this, this keyword got, how many minutes watched, and you can really get information out of here of how to understand your, your channel, how to, how to start a gaming channel, how to download videos, how to, how to delete the videos. Look at this, three topics right at the corner of my eye, which means what? You want more how-to videos. Of course, we're going to do that because that's what you want. We're going to deliver that. That's how you win. And if you carry on down here, end screen and click rates, what are people um, clicking on? And card click rates. Oh, look at this, polls. Every time we do a poll, 76%, people love it. You guys love to vote on our polls. Channel, the other ones uh, on the card, not so much. Right, make more polls. Do this on your channel. Do this three times a day and you'll see what a difference this will make because your audience is telling you what they want and now we're exposing that to you in a simple to use format. If you scroll further down, metrics over the last 30 days and then items to improve upon. Immediately in red, one and two, it's telling me with three videos I have not added to a playlist. I could click on them and instantly add them to a playlist. This is the stuff that you need to do. Live in this screen because when you live in a screen it's telling you that second d are you delivering doesn't matter what you feel about your content oh i love my chocolate cake recipes fine you'll still grow at a much lower pace because your audience really loves your barbecue recipes now you can make a choice do i give my audience what they want and grow fast or do i just do what i really feel like and what i love and not grow and that's perfectly fine but at least you're making an informed decision this is awesome, if I say so myself. Okay, and then finally, because you're doing the right stuff, so you went the first D, you've been discovered, you understand that YouTube is a search engine, you did the ABC walkthrough. Those who've come late to the, um, to the training, don't worry, it's all at the beginning, simply rewind and watch it from the beginning. But because you've done the, the first D and you've been discovered, and then you're doing the second E, you are delivering. And our uh, channel order tool tells you you're delivering. You're going to unlock the third D, which is distribution. This is when you get really proud of your channel and you can say, wow, I reached 350,000 subscribers on May 31st. You click on this and guess what it does? It creates a certificate. And then you can go ahead and share this on social media. And I'll tell you why this is an amazing growth strategy. Because... People who have been part of your journey, if you've got a thousand subscribers, if you've got a hundred subscribers and you generate this certificate, people love being part of the journey. They like it, they retweet it, they thumbs up it because they're part of your journey. And guess what else happens when they retweet? Other people in their timeline see that they've shared it and they go, oh, what's this channel about? Click. And now you have an opportunity to see another person who's going to come to your channel and perhaps subscribe. Perhaps they're going to grow with you. And maybe this is a great, great strategy. Be proud of your achievement. Share them. And by the way, when you share them on social media, tag at vidIQ so that we can retweet you and give you a whole bunch of free exposure, as we call it like that. Okay, So and by the way, all these numbers are, of course, going to be adjusted for your channel. If you're at a million subscribers, things are going to be different. If you're at 100 subscribers, things will be different. But your, your own personal goals and how far you're away from achieving these goals. We are almost at 300, we were at 300,000 likes. We're about to hit 350,000 likes. And probably by the 7th of the 7th, we should hit that. So you can see I'm like nearly there. And then this is the top performing months. 
and these are our top performing videos. So it just gives, gives you a nice idea of what's going on in your channel. Keep that motivation high and then absolutely share this, share this and don't forget to, don't forget to tag us. Whew. Okay, so we've been through a lot. So recap in 30 seconds, well, very quickly. Firstly, the first D, YouTube is a search engine. Make sure you get discovered. You get discovered by going through the autocomplete. Use that trick I showed you. Don't forget who, what, where, when, how, why, and put that before so that you can do the ABC walkthrough and get yourself an amazing title that people are searching for. Always check the vidIQ score to see what the search is like, see what the competition is like, and see if it's worth spending your time making that kind of video. If it's not, don't waste your time. Try something else. Then pick up the camera. You know you've got three or four different titles. How to make chocolate cake in a mug in a microwave. You know exactly what you need to focus on. You do that. You go to your upload. You make sure your title is spot on, written for humans. But feed the beast. Tell the description. Tell the tags what it's all about. Check the interest over time to make sure it's still relevant. And go and upload it. Now you're marrying up search with your video. And that is where it all comes together. Then you go and you live in your trend alerts. Your competitors, you keep an eye on what's going on, what's most viewed on YouTube, does it give you any ideas for the next video, and then you live in your channel audit. Is, is it working? Are you doing that second D? Are you delivering? Because if you are delivering, you'll, you'll get that distribution. If you're not delivering, make those changes. And then you go into your achievements, and then you share your achievements, and then people love your journey, they'll be part of it, they're gonna get you, they're gonna get to you, tag VidIQ so we can retweet you as well, and then people are gonna see your channel. Oh, what's this? Click on it, and then maybe you'll get some new viewers, some new subscribers. It's all about coming, bringing them all together. There is no shortcuts to good content, you've gotta just make good content, but then it's about understanding the recipe of YouTube and what, how to grow those channels. It's not about copying and pasting somebody else's work and thinking it's gonna work for you. Each channel is unique, each viewer is unique, and its YouTube algorithm is all about the viewer. If you don't have the vidIQ tools, that's perfectly fine. Lots of this makes complete sense whether you have it or you don't. If you've already got it, or you've got the free version, you wanna try out some of these more elaborate stuff I showed you today, link in the description below. Just go sign up, 30 day free trial, and simply for the next 30 days, do nothing else, but fixing all your videos, getting them ranked, getting them used so that you can level up your channel. Um, final plug is for the Tube Talk. If you guys want um, more in-depth stuff about YouTube, go find me on Tube Talk, T-U-B-E-T-A-L-K. Maybe one of the mods can drop a link in the chat as well so that you can go listen to a good half an hour of really in-depth stuff, how to get brand deals, even as a small channel, how to make it as a small channel. In fact, our own Travis was on that show as well. So go and listen to what he has to say and how to kind of really grow those YouTube. We really get into some serious stuff in there. Go check it out. And remember, vidIQ.com has got a blog. So if you want to read stuff, you can do that as well. And then um, basically, I think that's all I've got to tell you. So guys, thank you very much. And some people are still hanging out here. I hope people are still hanging out here. Like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the vidIQ channel because why would you not want to see some of this amazing cool stuff that we have to show you, right? I am going to now finish my last cup of coffee. Really appreciate you guys being here. My name is Liron Segev. Catch me online and I'll see you guys at the next training. Thanks for being here. And as Rob says, enjoy your video making day. Cheers. Bye.